61A, lecture number 23, announcements. Lab 8 is due today, ANTS is due Friday, the checkpoint containing phases 1 and 2 is due today, you can earn an early submission bonus point for submitting the whole thing by Thursday, homework 5 is released, it's due next Monday, the only required part of Lab 9 will be to finish homework 5, which should give you some good practice for the upcoming midterm. The midterm is next Wednesday. It will have a similar format to midterm one, but there will be no questions of the form, what would this mysterious function do? Instead, we'll focus on just implementing functions that are described for you, as well as some possible questions on environment diagrams. The textbook content is sections through 2.9, excluding several that we haven't covered this semester or were explicitly declared as optional. I like these sections. Feel free to read them, but they're not going to be covered on the exam. And in terms of lecture content, this is everything through last Friday's lecture on composition, excluding the binary numbers and circus lectures that happened at the end of September. Proctoring will be the same as it was for midterm one. You'll record your screen and your head using Zoom or Loom or another recording technology of your choosing. This time around, you might consider using Zoom web recording. If you prefer that to Loom, we found in the exit survey for midterm one that some people had Loom crash on them or cut out early in various ways that caused extra stress. You might find that Zoom web recording is more reliable. And of course, Zoom is also the recommended choice for local recording if you don't have a stable internet connection. If you want an alternate time or you have a conflict, please fill out the alternate time request form by Sunday. We're starting from scratch in assigning alternate times. So if you filled this out for midterm one, you do need to fill it out again for midterm two because people have been moving around and course conflicts vary. So let's just do it all from scratch. You can use the midterm one study guide and the midterm two study guide, which again is a one page front and back of all the important slides from the course. I just finished updating it with some new examples that hopefully will be helpful. And here are some pictures of trees and some examples of attribute assignment. So this study guide is only going to be useful if you actually read it in advance. I would suggest that you do that. For midterm one, we put a limit on the number of pages of notes that you could create for yourself, but we are now removing that limit. You can use as many of your own notes as you want. I would not recommend generating a lot of notes. I think maybe two pages of notes is about the right amount. But if you want to take more notes, or if you've already taken more notes and you want to use them, that's fine. But these do need to be notes that you create yourself. Please don't share your notes with everybody else in the course. Other than your own notes, you can only use course material that's been posted publicly. If you would like to store your notes electronically, you must use a Google Doc. You must also give edit access to this Google Doc to CS61A at berkeley.edu so we can check out what's going on there. If you use paper, which I recommend, then you do not need to share your notes with us. You can just keep them for yourself. Again, you can use anything on cs61a.org or the 61a Piazza, and you can execute code using code.cs61a.org or Python Tutor. However, you cannot use the rest of the internet. You cannot use search engines or QA sites or Reddit and you cannot communicate or collaborate with anybody else. Do not text your friends during the exam. You might think there's no way we could catch you, and yet we do. And when we catch people communicating during the exam, they get an F in the whole course. Don't let that happen to you. Just take the exam by yourself. You can request an exemption from the proctoring policy. Some people did this already for midterm one. If you'd like to request this going forward for midterm two in the final, because you found out that proctoring is problematic in some way, you can do this by Sunday. If you already filled out this form for midterm one, you do not need to fill it out again. Anyone who's been exempted from proctoring 
will remain exempted for the rest of the semester. So I hope that's some helpful information about the exam. I'll share some more info about any student-led review sessions as soon as I know about them. And one final announcement is that the staff will be holding conceptual help office hours Wednesday and Thursday of this week. Here's the Zoom link where if you want to ask about concepts in general as opposed to specific problems, you can ask there or listen to other students ask those questions and hear the answers from a couple of TAs that have taught this course for a long time. Okay, today's lecture on decomposition is really just an illustration of how to put together ideas that we've learned about already in this course to do something new, searching for the right place to eat.